Scrambled eggs are my go-to in the morning. My kids love them, they're super easy to prepare, but I do have a couple of tips to make sure that you have the perfect egg every single morning. But before I get to the recipe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and of course the bell icon so that you get all of my recipes and you'll be up to date on everything that I'm cooking in the kitchen. All right, let's get started. So I have my eggs and I like to use a fork instead of a whisk and I like to prick each yolk and then scramble them. Okay, I scramble really, really well. I don't like any of the separation of the whites and the yolks. I like it to be really, really smooth. In restaurants, sometimes they'll take this and put it through a sieve. Uh, I definitely don't have time for that. All right, here is one of the things that make restaurant eggs so delicious. A splash of heavy cream, okay? I know, it seems indulgent, but it is so, so much better. All right, so let's talk about the pan real quick. I am using a nonstick small omelet pan. This is about, I think it's about an eight inch pan, but it's specifically an omelet pan. And what I like about it is in addition to it being nonstick, so my eggs are not gonna like stick to the bottom, um, it's the perfect size to make really nice thick eggs. So whether it's an omelet or a scramble, they turn out really well. I buy mine at the restaurant supply store. They have one in every major city and it, they're really cheap. They're like 20 bucks. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get a really good non-stick omelet pan. So that's my little secret tip. I got a couple for my wedding and they were beautiful, but they were really expensive. They were all clad and um, I ruined the Teflon and I literally had to just throw it away, which felt like money down the drain. So this one for 20 bucks, I don't feel that guilty if at some point I have to replace it. Okay, so I'm putting a pretty generous knob of butter. Now let's go ahead and do two. Okay, that is another really important key. I don't use oil when I'm cooking eggs because the richness of the butter is perfect balance with the eggs. So, and just swirl it around, get the bottom nice and coated. You wanna make sure that your heat is not too high. So if it starts to bubble like that, turn it down just a hair. The key to cooking perfectly scrambled eggs that are really light and fluffy is that they're not overcooked, they're not browned. So you don't wanna sizzle when you put these eggs into the pan. Here's where the patience comes in. Just start to slowly stir. You'll see them start to cook and I just pull up in the center just like I would for an omelet. But if you have a few minutes of patience, I promise it's worth it because you end up with a really, really beautiful scrambled egg. And of course I'm using a rubber spatula. Make sure, I, I've had this trouble before that my spatula melts on my pan. So don't use plastic. I know for a nonstick you're supposed to use wooden or something that won't scratch it. I really like silicone. So make sure it's a really high heat rubber silicone, something that is heat safe for your pan. Okay, so I'm pulling all the way across. I don't know if you can see, but I'm pulling all the way across because I don't want any of the eggs to sit in one place on the pan for too long. Because that's when they get brown and that's when they're not perfect. I love cheesy scrambled eggs. What about you? Let me know. Put something in the comments below. Let me know how you like your eggs. Okay, believe it or not, they're probably less than 30 seconds away from being done. If you're adding cheese, I recommend doing it at the very end because again, you don't want the cheese to get too crusty and kind of caramely. Okay, that's it. Do you see? It's starting to sizzle a little bit. So that means I'm gonna turn it off. They're gonna keep cooking. Okay, so I'm just stirring them around. Perfectly fluffy, folded over, gorgeous golden eggs. Now is where I'm gonna season it. I'm using a really coarse fleur de sel, which is a beautiful sea salt. Just gonna sprinkle it right on top. That way with every bite, you get a little bit of crunch from that yummy sea salt. And I love to top mine with a little bit of chive. Here are my perfectly cooked scrambled eggs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm also gonna take this recipe and reinvent it into the most incredible bacon grilled cheese sandwich. So make sure that you subscribe and I hope to see you right back here real soon.